it was December of 2017. And I remember I was staying at the travel lodge. I started having night sweats and high fever. My body was weak and my skin was shedding. One day, I couldn't get up. I was so sick and dehydrated that I passed out. I woke up with my closest friend right next to me in the emergency room, not knowing how I got there. I was blessed to have a friend like that. Friends are family to me. They were there with me on the day I got diagnosed with AIDS and pneumonia. I stay hospitalized for three weeks. They found out I had tuberculosis and had a big mess in my chest that was blocking my airflows. This tragic experience was a blessing for me. It wasn't for the disease and sickness. I wouldn't have stopped prostituting and using drugs. At first, I was scared to move forward with sobriety. I don't know how to live a sober life and I was terrified that I might go back to the old habits. I thought being sober was being boring. Because of the tuberculosis, I was isolated for four months and it wasn't so easy. If it wasn't for Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, I would lose my mind. Thanks for Facebook Messenger, I could talk and see my friends and family. I started self-reflecting and healing my body, clearing my mind. Then a the year after my diagnosis, I became a care navigator for San Francisco Community Health Center where I go and get my primary care. As a transgender of color living with HIV and TB survivor advocate, I wanted to be inspiration and motivation to the trans community, paying it forward, helping the trans community and my friends I called family living with HIV. I feel gratitude and felt this is my life meaning for.